Afternoon to our school's division superintendent, Ma'am Lloyds and Idea. Good afternoon also to the three assistant schools division superintendents, Ma'am Kekiel, Ma'am Lynn, and Ma'am Susan. And at magandang hapon po sa lahat ng mga guro sa Araling Pantipunan at sa Humanities and Social Sciences na nasa kanilang mga lugar. This time, we will be discussing the K-12 curriculum implementation in the new normal. I am Mari Vendela Cruz Berha, Education Program Supervisor 1 in Adeline Pandipina. Welcome to our third day Division Online Training Workshop on multiple learning modalities for the K-12 Adeline Pandipina teachers. Of course, we also have the Humanities and Social Sciences teachers. From, this is from K-12. When we talk on curriculum implementation, we will be talking about the content, the process, and the assessment. So you need to answer the questions on what to teach, how to teach, and how to assess. On matters pertaining to the curriculum content or what to teach, we will be focusing on the most Essential Learning Competencies, or we call it MEL, the discussion of lessons which are found in the modules, and we can also make use of the K-12 curriculum textbooks. In line with how to teach, this is the different teaching modalities or teaching learning process this time, we will be in great support with the family and with the community. So the components of this is on the modular, online, blended, and if you cannot really do away with face-to-face, -face, you will go on with that. For face-to-face -face learning, consideration in the COVID-19 context, there is a greater risk of COVID-19 exposure. So we are suggesting the different strategies as per depth and order in line with the learning continuity plan. We have to reduce the class size to an allowable number of learners for each class to a minimum of 15 learners in, in classes using tables and chairs. But with 20 learners in classes, is using armchairs to ensure physical distancing in schools. We also need to adjust class and teacher schedules. They may not be reporting at the same time. Provide additional school buildings or, and make shift classroom for additional learning space. That should be distance learning using modular distance learning approach. Learners have the needed complete set of self-learning modules and the strategies suggested for its effective implementation is to train school officials, teachers, and partners to facilitate the development of standard and contextualized self-learning modules. Though we will not be imposing the field to use the next learning modalities, we will still roll this out for possible opportunity to use this during teaching learning process in line with the implementation of K-12 curriculum. We have Lesser B distance learning using the online distance, distance learning approach. So learners have the needed gadgets and reliable internet connectivity. To strategize this, we have to train school officials, teachers, and partners to convert the self-learning modules to PDF flat interactive digital format, inclusive e-books, videotaped lessons, and radio scripts from the self-learning modules. We have here additional strategies to be implemented in case we will use the online distance learning. We have to upload, upload PDF flat, self-learning modules in the learning resource portal, and the SLN's interactive digital format and inclusive ebooks and videotape lessons to the DepEd Commons so that we will be sharing our, our resources to, to other teachers for the implementation of K 12. 
We also need to maximize the learning resource portal and DepEd Commons as resources of materials. So another strategy is to maximize the MS teams. So at this point in SDO Camarina, sir, Mr. Ping Nebrea are already working hard enough to distribute or to download the MS, MS teams to the different schools, to the different teachers, and even to the level of the students. We also have Google Meet, Zoom, and other virtual classroom meeting for flat platforms. We also have to schedule online screen time so that we will not be holding the same programs, similar programs at the same time to maximize participation from the students. We also need to train community learning facilitators in line with the implementation of distance learning delivery submodality. In case of distance learning using TV, radio-based instruction, learners have the needed gadget and reliable internet connectivity also. We have here specific strategies to be implemented. Teachers and partners to produce videotapes, lessons, and radio scripts from the self-learning modalities. In case of Camarina Sur, this is headed by Ms. Presse de la Vega. Explore institutional partnership with the different partners for radio and TV-based instruction. We have letter C on the blended learning. If we cannot really avoid, we have to go with this face-to-face and online distance learning if the students really needed such particular methodology. In this case, learners have the needed gadgets and reliable internet connection in case of online distance learning. We have here the strategies suggested, upload PDF flat SLMs in the LR portal and SLMs interactive digital format and inclusive ebooks and videotape lessons to the DepEd Commons for sharing. And we can also get or download shared files from the other regions and division offices. Maximize LR portal and DepEd Commons as source of instructional materials. Another blended learning is the face to face and TV radio based instruction. This can be an option for schools in the GIDCA communities where there is no internet connectivity and radio-based instruction has been done through ALS and or a TV is available. Strategies for this is teachers and partners to produce videotape lessons and radio scripts from the self-learning modules by teachers and partners. We have also to explore institutional partnerships with media partners for radio and TV instructions. If we will be given the chance to implement the third modality under blended learning, the face-to-face -face and modular online TV radio-based instruction, this is primarily an option for learners with disabilities whose conditions and family situation can accommodate a combination of face-to-face -face and TV radio-based instruction. Strategies for this is to ensure that learning materials are converted to other formats needed, like radio scripts, videotape lessons, braille, inclusive ebooks with Filipino sign language interpretation. The third one, additional is to request for the use of other community spaces close to the school as learning spaces in class, if clustered spaces will be done scheduled on screen time. For the last modality, we have the homeschooling as an alternative delivery mode. This is a little bit expensive, but lesser risk on the COVID-19 exposure and can reduce class size 
so physical distancing will be easier to implement in schools. The strategy suggested for this is learners are enrolled in accredited schools. So usually this modality is being offered by private schools which need to secure approval prior to their implementation. And most of our celebrities are availing the, this. We have to also ensure that learning materials are converted to other formats needed, radio scripts, videotape lessons, braille, inclusive ebooks with Filipino sign language interpretation. Next is the most commonly used learning management system in the K-12 schools. The next is the modular approach. This is highly recommended, especially in schools in the Bicol region, due to difficulty in, and limited access to technology and internet connectivity. At present, we already prepared several, though some, some are still in the process of validation. We started from actually from K to 12. So we have here Araling Panlipunan 1 with the new logo of the Depart of the Ed Region 5. We also have Araling Panlipunan 2 and Araling Panlipunan 3. This kind of cover did not pass yet through the Division Quality Assurance Team since we we did not replace it yet with uh, the logo, the appropriate logo. And we also have Araling Panlipunan 3 revised and unedited, unedited Araling Panlipunan 4 also unedited and unedited Araling Panlipunan 5 Araling Panlipunan 6 and we have here also modules covering the Bicol Cultural Knowledge Skills and Practices. Of course, we also be placing in or putting a specialized logo for it for grade seven. We also have senior high school. We already submitted this to the region five. The Philippine politics and governance under the humanities and social sciences and introduction to the world religion and and briefs and belief system other modules are still in the process of validation if we will be given the chance to avail the online learning the following are the suggested learning platforms we have the CISO. this is free recommended for kinder to grade three levels the design is similar to Instagram, minimal, and easy-to-use buttons. This is a platform for student engagement that inspires students of all ages to do their best and save teachers' time. Students use creative tools to make pictures, draw, record videos, and more to capture learning in a portfolio. So we have here their wall showing that the remote the CISO is used for remote learning. Meaningful learning can happen anywhere. We're here to support students, teachers, and families with remote learning. Another suggested learning platform is Edmodo. This is free, recommended for grade four to grade six levels. The design is similar to Facebook with additional features that are dedica dedicated for use in class. According to them, learn better together. Manage your classroom, engage your students, safe, simple, and free. We have here the main features of Edmodo. Facilitate learning goals, create pools for students, award budgets to individual students, assess student progress, online classroom discussions, personalization, free admin account activation, and network that connects students, administrators, parents, and teachers. The next is the Google Classroom. 
This is also free, recommended for grade 7 to 10. This is part of a comprehensive and integrated goal, Google Apps for Education, which allows teachers and students to infuse other Google applications in class, including Gmail, Hangouts Meet, Docs, Slides, and Sheets, YouTube, and others. This is a specific learning management system. We have here their logo. The next set of learning platform is the Zoom, WebEx, MS Teams. These are free, powerful video conferencing tools that allow sharing screens, websites, videos, PowerPoint, Keynote, to enrich virtual meeting experience. Joining meetings and sending invitations can be done by sending links, meeting numbers, and password to assure security of those who are involved. These are their walls for Zoom Academy and the WebEx. Yes, we also have the Microsoft team for which we are using right now. These are free to students, to both students and teachers, for possible classroom utilization in their respective classes. Another set of learning platform is Telegram, Facebook Messenger, Viber, WhatsApp, FaceTime, and iMessage. These are conventional means of communicating online that allows sharing of files such as images, video clips, PDFs, and web links. Okay, these are their characteristics. FaceTime, the iMessage, it's only true to Apple Gadget. Another set of learning platforms are the publishing post to create for forums within a learning management system may also serve as the communication tool that is easy to organize and review. Students may exchange replies via comments and share, share responses through react buttons. Next is the iTunes U. Free works only on the iPad. In the case of the students, recommended for grade 11 and 12, this offers a familiar user interface that directly presents the course outline. It is also, it is not exactly a learning management system, but serve, serves the same purpose of delivering a course of study along with integrated digital learning tools, including non-Apple apps. Other tested learning management system in K-12 that are subscription-based, including Schoology, Canvas, Blackboard. And we also have the local, locally developed learning management system by the Philippine publishers that are subscription-based. These are Aralinx, Vsmart, and the Zenny. Next is we have the learning models. Before the discussion, let us first answer your level of competence in line with the use of the different technology. Or it means technology, your level of technology literacy. If you are a beginner, just check below on that particular column. And if you are intermediate level, and in the advanced level that you are frequently using that in your classrooms. The first productivity, uh, these are divided into two categories, productivity tools and creativity tools. For productivity tools, we have Google Search Engine. Are you using them in finding the different instructional materials and what is your level? Are you emailing or sending messages or files through email? 
Office, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. This time we are using the Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and the MS PowerPoint. So next, cloud storage. Are we using this in storing our files so that whenever we are and we would like to get the file even without our gadget, we can still get those files. Next is collab tools, docs, sheets, slides. Are we using them? Video conferencing tools, Hangouts Meet, FaceTime, Zoom, WebEx, and Teams. Are we engaging ourselves with the use of these materials? Chat, Messenger, Viber, WhatsApp, Telegram. Are we also using this in sending messages? And what are your levels? The next set is creativity tools. Are, you, are we using our camera in capturing memorable moments of our lives and the lives of our students? Are we using the photos there in coming up, discussing with our lessons? How about video editor? Are we familiar with that? Are we using that particular platform? and the audio recorder. So, what is your current level of competence? Are you a beginner, intermediate, or in the advanced level? So, whatever your responses will be, congratulations. And keep growing in line with our personal and professional aspects of our lives. So, next is the learning space at home. Are we designating a learning space at home with our pupils or to be used by our students? It is also advised that parents prepare themselves and their children for online learning by designating a learning space. This learning space is the most conducive place in learning at home and be able to establish a learning routine. So when the students, when the pupils are, on, are already in that particular designated place, they will be focusing on learning. So not accommodating any other task for that particular moment. Determine the best learning model. Types of remote learning. Availability, of course, of teaching and learning resources. Types of remote learning. We have the synchronous and asynchronous. Synchronous means the class is conducted conducted in real time. Since we have a trouble in line with the internet connectivity and availability of gadget, we may not experience this or we may not implement this. In most cases, we can also venture the asynchronous part. This is a no face-to-face -face meeting and even online. So the students can just go to the particular site and get the resources from, the, from that particular site and they can view it not on in the real time at their own pace. We also have the types of remote learning, the hybrid. Hybrid is a remote learning class maintains a schedule of in-person class meetings and online activities during term. We also have the modified hybrid during enhanced community quarantine particularly, wherein the, the students and even the teachers cannot go out of their places. The blended learning, a combination of online and face-to-face, -face, is usually the traditional definition of blended learning but this time we have already many options to do this we also have the the station rotation it means that the students will not going to the school on face-to-face -face basis at the same time they will be on their schedule laboratory rotation not everyone every learner has a specific schedule to use the laboratory individual rotation their schedule on where to go whenever they are in the in the school or in the learning space within the community. We also have the flipped classroom, a la carte model, flex model, and enriched virtual model. How to assess? 
is the next is the third category of doing the curriculum implementation this time in the K to 12 curriculum implementation we have here sample computation per debit order number 31 series of 2020 we only unlike before during the normal scenarios in school year we considered the three types of assessment the first one is the written works second is the performance task and the other is the quarterly assessment but this time we will do away with the quarterly assessment we will be focusing on the written works for and performance task in the case of languages filipino and english araling panlipunan education sa pagpapakatao from grades 1 to 10 with the senior high school core subjects we have an equivalent rating of 40% for written works and performance task of 60%. We have here a sample computation. In line with the summative task tools, we have different suggested types or yes, yeah, suggested types of assessment. In case of Araling Pandipunan, since we are in Araling Pandipunan and Yumes, we will be focusing on the concept maps for the written outputs, concept maps and organizers, essays, journals, news writing, news article, reviews, reaction, or reflection paper. So the products we are expecting to do is the collage and diorama making leaflet poster and slogan making map construction research work for those who are already in the senior level timelines film documentary reviews and analysis advocacy paper for the performance task students are expected to do community involvement debate they can also present the material in video tape recorded recording or even audio, interviews, issue awareness campaigns, news reporting presentation, and multimedia presentation, role playing, and simulation. Oh, we also have the digital printed modular learning in case of TV, RBI, homeschooling. So under Araling Panlipunan, for summative assessment tools, we have Concept maps and organizers, essays, journals, news writing, news article review, just similar to the modular and the previous one under written outputs. For the product, we also have collage, diorama making, leaflets, posters, and slogan making, map construction, research work, timelines, film documentary reviews, and analysis advocacy paper. For the performance task, we have community involvement, interviews, issue awareness campaigns, news reporting, presentations, and multimedia presentation and simulation. We have here a holistic, a holistic rubric. Sorry. We have here a holistic rubric. What makes it holistic in the sense that we will be maximizing the, yes, making use of our head, our heart, and goes with our hands. A perfect combination of a holistic individual. So we have here the portfolio grading for the title and the description for that is the this rubric is designed to evaluate the portfolio submission based on content, presentation of work, and reflection. So content for the knowledge, reflection for the feelings, for the heart, the three H, the head, the heart, and the hands. And for the hands, we have here the presentation of work. We have here the highest possible rating is 100% and the lowest possible rating we could give to our students based on the sample is 
So we have here the score, scoring and the corresponding description. In line with the performance task for modular, modular learners, learning learners with no gadget and internet connection, the learners are expected to create an information write-up report as first entry for their learning portfolio entitled, for example, Pandemic Kalang, I am Filipino. Discussing learners' awareness of oneself, their changing environment, and realized initiatives that, that a Filipino youth can contribute to the society amidst the global pandemic. The output is to be shared to family members and immediate community. So we also have a separate rubric for that, for the write-up report from a Likert scale of 1 to 5, where 1 is the lowest and 5 is the highest. Under organization, content, development, creativity, audience, and its total. For communication tools, we, during synchronous learning, teachers and students meet via messaging, video conference, and voice chat. We can also do the texting for those who do not have the internet connection, parent-teacher conference, individual students consultation. If in case we do not have the net connection and you cannot do the texting, of course, we can also do the face-to-face, -face, but following strictly following the AITF protocol or the health protocol, the health standard. Zoom, WebEx, MS Teams, Telegram, Facebook Messenger, Viber, WhatsApp, FaceTime, iMessage. And we also have the publishing post. For classroom responses, this time we also have Nearpad for those who can avail the online methodology or modality. This is free, self-paced, or live. Experience is like joining the webinar with slides and interactive activities that require the audience to participate in order to proceed to the next part. Requirements, teachers and students accounts using the email address. Of course, this is true to, to the senior or to the students in the senior level. For the assessment, we also have online assessment. We can also use the Tahoe Academy our premier partner, and Wizlet Kahoot Yes Socrative. We also have their walls on online. Just read their descriptions. We also have the Mentimeter and Pool Everywhere. This is also free web version. Students may respond to the collaborative screen based on the teacher's identified time frame. Allows creating two pools, word clouds, free text input boards, similar to the posting tweet, two posting tweets. Requirements, teachers, accounts, students join using a link or OR code and PIN for security, of course. This is the most interactive remote meetings anywhere. We also have the Jamboard and the Padlet. This, we have also the free version, allows users to create three collaborative walls. For the factors to consider when selecting digital tools for learning, if in case we have the net connectivity and the needed tools, these are the three factors to consider. Number one, select a digital tool that will enrich students' experience while performing the task. Be specific about the purpose of the app. Can students still perform the task even without using this tool? So opt for an app that is simple and easy to use. Technology should make teaching and learning easier and not complicate the experience. Look for free digital tools first, instead of buying or subscribing to paid apps 
there are free tools that can serve the same function as those that are for free. Good luck and congratulations. Enjoy teaching and enjoy touching the lives of the students. Keep healthy so that we can ensure that we'll be serving more learners in our respective stations. God bless.